You may like to dye Easter eggs during the holiday season, but we're going to show you I hope you're all enjoying the show. You may like to dye Easter eggs during the holiday season, but we're going to show you how you can totally shatter everything you know about egg decorating. Oh, sound like fun. How about something you may never have never tried before? Well, Clark is learning how to make glass art. Okay, what's the first step? First step is you need some glass to actually smash. So Jeannie, I see that you have a vase there. Yes, I do. Let's put it in. All right. And Go of course, this is TV magic. So usually this door will be closed, but we like to have a little fun here on GDSA. So you take a hammer and you literally there you go. shatter glass. Yes. I have to tell you, I feel so wrong doing this. <laughs> because you I never break job. things on purpose. I, I just don't. It. Okay, so you smash it like this into all these different pieces, and then that little piece just flew out, so be careful, Derek. But um, this is kind of what it looks like afterwards. So Jeannie, tell me what we're looking at. So here we're looking at, after you take the pieces out that you want and make your little art piece, mm -hmm. well, you might want some that we've divided in colors. Okay. So this is basically what you've done, all divided in colors over the last ah, couple of years. And so. there's so many different colors, and it's hilarious yes. too, because there's some bottles back here. There's some unique, like I saw, um, Mardi Gras teacup. Yes. So many different colors to yes. choose from and sizes. China. Yes. Yeah, a little fine china and Christmas ornaments. So if you break an ornament, it's not really broken. No. You can make something amazing out of it, which I mean that's Especially a little model. If it's I love an heirloom ornament. Anyways. Okay, so this art piece though, this is amazing. So this is an egg. Right. And this is some of the glass you smashed earlier. Yes. And now you're going to, we'll draw any shape, anything out for you. Mm -hmm. So we drew out the egg here. Okay. And then now you're going to loose lay the pieces. So right. yes, you'll want to put your glasses on. And then you can start, you can take it, you can cut it if you want. You can start cutting some of the pieces. Mm -hmm. And then you we, you, we call it loose laying. Right. So you just start filling in. You've already done a little bit already. It looks okay. amazing. Yes. And put it any kind of way and get as creative as you want. We go 3D because after you're through, we're going to put a clear resin over it and it's going to stay on it. So cool. So, yes. And I noticed, so when you lay them down, you kind of lay down the rounded part. So the rounded part's facing out or does it matter? It doesn't matter because oh, you cool. can just build up as high as you want. Okay. And that's so what a lot of people this. do. There you go. Look how great you did. You smashed oh, great and you cut great. So <laughs> you've got it. And so you were telling me before this segment that you had a little art studio just for your family and people to get together yes. and then it blew up. Yes. Tell me how this location was opened. Well, this location, so yes, we started in a tiny small place um, close to downtown mm -hmm. and then everybody wanted to learn how to do this and then we ended up coming over here in 2019 and it's okay. just grown. We do team buildings, we do birthday parties, you can come bring your food, bring your own drinks, smashed glass, we work with acrylics and we work with resin. We make charcuterie boards. We have like over a dozen classes. But I love all the right different styles. Right now we're focusing on Easter. So we yes. actually have a special. If you make anything Easter on our mini glass art, mm -hmm. you get it for $50. So yes, that's normally so it's 55, awesome. but that's kind of great. So. Okay, so I'm Look making how great my you're doing. grass right now. I'm yeah. adding a little bit. Um, I want to know, can kids do this? Yeah, well, we have some smooth like beads and fun things that even kind of plastic and resin that look like um, glass looks the same. Mm -hmm. So under nine, we let them use that so they can still participate. I nine like and that. over, they can actually squeeze the snipper as long as they wear their goggles. Right. They can do it. So and then, basically, age what five to a hundred, uh -huh. you can do this. Everybody has a good time. So if you're looking for something for the whole family to do, basically everybody has a good time. We'll just you just tell us what you want us to draw. It doesn't always have to be Easter, but it's right. Easter time right now. It's Look amazing. You go, girl. I know, I love this. And so you're hired. people <laughs> also have a little discount that they'll get for watching Great Day Say. Tell me yes. about it. If you call in today and book a class, you get 20% off if you mention Great Day Say. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you've broken a vase or something that has sentimental value and you don't know what to do with it, you can't fix it. Repurpose it yes. and turn it into something cool. Oh my yes, gosh. Yes, exactly. And we have plenty if you don't, or even if you have like a wine bottle that's special. Uh huh. Ah, uh, Jeannie, thank you so, so much. Roma and Paul, how creative is this? I totally, I mean, this is going to probably be a new hobby. You did amazing. <laughs> yeah, like Clark's having Very a good time impressed. out there. I love the suggestion of repurposing something because yeah. I have sentimental bottles yeah. of champagne right. or wine or things that were my mother's that I would love to put as yeah, an Yeah, you know, we've had a lot of unique art on the show, but that probably takes a cake. Well, you did bash 